What's up, y'all? Welcome back. We are going to be looking at Assassin's Creed Valhalla Deep Dive Trailer. Now, Assassin's Creed has always been Assassin's Creed. They can't change. I know they tried to with Assassin's Creed Origins. They changed it a little bit. Then they did with Odyssey. Gave you dialogue options. Then now they're doing it with Valhalla. What I got to say is that I like that they're taking on Norse mythology. Like they're going with the Viking um, setting. It looks like The Witcher 3, but they're going with the Viking setting. I get it. Um, and ever since I watched that show Vikings, I like Vikings now. So, and the main thing I wanted in this game was the brutality that Vikings bring on the battlefield and they got that down ever since i saw that gameplay a couple months ago th that gameplay is on point they got the blood they got dismemberment they got they got the brutality they got that down pack already but it still seems like their faces are a little bit choppy it don't seem like it don't seem like the game is fluent right now the combat may look fluent, but I'm talking about like when they have like when they're talking. It seems really choppy, and it seemed that way in Odyssey too. It seemed that way in Odyssey. The frame rate is all over the place. I was watching this live stream earlier on Twitch, and the frame rate was crazy. And I was like, "What the freak is going on? Don't the game drop in November?" Now this video is not about this game that I'm about to be talking about, but I want to bring it up anyway. Cyberpunk 2077. That game has gone gold. Finally. But don't get it twisted. Cyberpunk 2077 is still going to have lots of glitches. And I bet you it's going to have a day one patch. But there's still going to be glitches. Even though this game was announced in 2012, I think, or 2013. Yeah. Alright, so let's get off that. But Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, hopefully this deep dive trailer makes me feel better about this game. Because I've been off Assassin's Creed for a while because it's the same game every year. And Assassin's Creed Unity was the only one that actually gave me a new... Like, it actually gave me something different. The reason why is because of multiplayer. Multiplayer was a big thing about Assassin's Creed Unity. Unity. Multiplayer. You can play with your friends and all that. Do do assassinations. That was the most fun in Assassin's Creed I ever had. Was was playing online. That's, that's why Assassin's Creed Unity was the best, in my opinion. I have Black Flag, but I never played Black Flag. I hear that one's good, too. In Assassin's Creed Unity... The story wasn't that bad either. It had some glitches here and there, but it wasn't a bad game. Then after that, I think Black Flag dropped or something, or was that before? I'm not sure, but then Assassin's Creed Syndicate. That one looked okay, but I just really, you know, I really didn't care. But then I think it was Assassin's Creed Origins. I heard good things about that. Then it was Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I thought about getting that, but then I saw it more. Then I just wasn't interested anymore. Then now this game is dropping. I gotta tell you, the first time when I saw this, I was like, this might look dope. They're, they're going with a Viking setting. They're, this might actually be good. Then I saw some gameplay. I was like, but then I saw more gameplay. The gameplay looked dope. They had everything I wanted in the gameplay. But then I saw some what gameplay. Then I was like. So I don't know. Hopefully this deep dive trailer changes my mind about this game. Come on. Come on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Show me something different. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check the links down below. Let's get into this video man. Show me something different. That was like a five minute rant. My fault. I just wish that the characters act, didn't look so choppy when they freaking talk. Like, this why can't it be fluid? Time of conquest. Uh, the age of Vikings. 
Yes, the Age of Vikings. File. I like that. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you play as Eivor, the fierce Viking war chief of the Raven Clan. Okay. Eivor and their kin have forged into England to settle the new frontiers. But these are dangerous times. And each new landscape contains untold perils and mysteries to uncover. Your saga begins with a simple need for a home. Your Viking settlement is the beating heart of your adventure. The graphics don't look that bad. It's the point for many of Valhalla's interwoven storylines. Here, you'll get familiar with your clan and begin your journey through England. At the Alliance map, you'll meet Randvi, the clan's key intel gatherer, and plan your first moves. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. By forging alliances with different territories, the Raven Clan will expand their influence. So, so you can you go to, to four places, I guess. open a wealth of new narrative arcs, missions, activities and ways to experience the game world let's go it's time to capture a kingdom each of england's kingdoms have many stories to uncover with their own unique plot lines casts of characters and challenges to overcome are you sigurd dranger eivor if you keep that up stay in the flaws oh including assassinating targets Forging allies and assaulting rivals in large scale battles. These story arcs explore the themes of honor, glory, leadership, and choice that are central to Eivor's journey. And your pivotal choices will leave long lasting impacts across the kingdoms. Three men, three possible futures. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? Viking warfare is visceral and brutal, and there are many. And they still have that same one from Assassin's Creed 3, yo. That same one. Thankfully, Eivor is equipped with a diverse set of combat skills, including brute strength charging maneuvers. I like this right here. It's freaking brutal. I like this right here. Explosive two-handed finishes. This is one of the best parts. Oh, like man's is that a direwolf? And poison powder trap. Is that a ghost? Flank and interrupt your foes from a distance. Your skills are upgraded through a progression system, which allows you to unlock perks and abilities. I like the gameplay. Your style of play. Special I feel like that's straight. Found in books of knowledge, hidden throughout the world, and have their own upgrade tiers that improve their power I feel like that's and cool. effectiveness. As you forge deeper on your journey, your explorations will reward you with exotic gear from the far corners of the world. Further unlocking combat options and dual wield combinations, including the legendary Excalibur. Excalibur. Oh, I like that right though. Choice is central to Valhalla's player experience. But for some reason, I feel like this is gonna. At the start uh... of your adventure, you'll have the opportunity to choose Eivor's gender, and you can seamlessly swap between. She looked like that female. Eivor. No, but she like that woman from Vikings. So I um, to the Raven Clan. I forgot her name though. And it's not Lagatha, it's not her. It's the other one. After a victory, you return home with reasons Looks to just like her, yo. That's crazy. Using them to expand your settlement with structures and upgrades. There's a wide variety of structures to build, each with their own unique gameplay systems and perks. The barracks allow you to elect a Jomsviking, which is a powerful Viking lieutenant, and build a custom crew of raiders to oh, okay. with, which are shared with your friends online. Oh. Gunnar the blacksmith enhances weapons and gear, and at the tattooist, you'll customize Eivor's look. Oh, okay. At the shipyard, Gudrun and Gudmund will customize and improve your longship. Okay. And in the Hidden Ones Bureau, you will work from the shadows. Doing assassins work in a mysterious conflict with the order of the ancients. We have work to do, starting in the cities of England. Our task will not be an easy one. These are just a few examples 
and there's plenty more fun to be had around your settlement. Drink your weight in ale, play a game of Orlog, or throw a massive Viking feast. However, what about the rap battles, yo? Set of dangers, and your settlement will become the target of new enemy factions. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. <laughs> Valhalla's world is built for a wandering spirit. You'll uncover deeper layers to Eivor's own story in a set of dramatic and intimate narrative through lines. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have. There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Player choice is woven through every facet of the game experience. And as you continue to explore, it looks fluid. Hell, it all. New stories and epiphanies. But I don't know if that's going to be unlikely in places. Game, bro. Drink, if you seek true understanding. But this world is just the beginning. Balka, the clan seer, will unlock your senses, allowing you to leap beyond. What the fuck is that? Asgard, the legendary realm of oh, North Smith. Oh, okay. From Norway Restore. to England, to new worlds. Oh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla allows you to experience your own elemental Viking okay. saga. The thrill of discovery, the glory of victory, and the light of kinship. A journey beyond the Did I just see you can get married in this game or something? Of a or was I tripping? Oh, it's tripping, Assassin's I think. Creed Valhalla, oh, tripping. Available November 10th. I don't like, look. All right, watch it. All right, all right, just hold on, hold on. Pause this way, pause this way. Assassin's Creed is looking dope, man. The gameplay looks dope. I love the gameplay, but I'm still questioning all the other stuff except the gameplay. That's what, that's what's wrong here. Because if they would have still went with that old fashioned, well, not old fashioned, but if they would have went with that gameplay from Odyssey, it wouldn't have been the same. Like it wouldn't have, you wouldn't have it. Like you wouldn't have that Vikings feeling. If they would have went that route, so it's good that they went with this brutality route, and I think that's really immersive or realistic, I guess, for like the player or something. Whoever's playing the game, you are really gonna feel like a Viking, and they really went there with the gameplay. I like that. I like that you can customize your player. I like that you can choose between male and female, and actually change their faces and everything, change their hair, change their eyes, mouth, all that stuff. You can get tattoos in this game too, that looks dope. So, the only thing I'm questioning is just the story and what this game is really gonna be like when you play it. Because it looks different when you're watching a trailer, but when you actually play it, it's different. And, and with every Assassin's Creed game, it's kind of repetitive. It's repetitive, man. And it gets boring over time. It just do. It's Assassin's Creed. I haven't played Odyssey, so I don't know if that game is boring or not. But all I know is that people like the game. People still play it. So tell me down below if you played Odyssey. Tell me. And speak truthfully. Is the game boring at some times? But they added some new features in this game that can probably erase that feeling of of being bored with this game. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. You're speaking about me, that's a little odd. Just awful, what a clown you are. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. And they're sorely mistaken, I'm known for my might. There's rat battles in this game, so how how can this game be born? But nah, all seriousness though, but they added a settlement feature. They added lots of stuff in this game. They really want you to feel like a Viking in this game. And I give them props for that. I'm not the type of person who goes on who goes on Metacritic and be like, ooh, since this guy said this game's whack, I'm not gonna play. I'm not that type of person. Like, if the game looks good to me, I will play that game. And I feel like I'm on the fence about this game. So I'm gonna check reviews when the game drops, but then I'll I'll make my decision solely on what I think about the game. Assassin's Creed is Assassin's Creed. You can't erase that. Tell me down below, what are you feeling about this game, man? Are you getting this game day one? Will you get it when it uh, when it drops on sale or something? Tell me down below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check the links down below. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.